10 things you need to know before you go to Petra. I think I'm still in the desert because of this one. Number one, to tour or not to tour, basically. Do you want to go with a tour group with 16 other people in a bus for five hours and then go and hike with them in Petra? Or do you want to go by yourself and not really know what you're doing? I went with a tour group, but if I could go again, I would go by myself. I <laughs> ran away from the group. It's pretty easy once you're in Petra to do everything yourself, okay? It's maybe just get in there, get them through the border. It helps go with a tour group. And also, there is a new scheme in Jordan that if you go to Jordan for more than two nights, they waive your visa, which is usually 60 US dollars. But you can only do that if you go with a tour group. So, weigh up the options before you go. I'm probably the most impatient person ever. Number two. Friday is Saturday. Saturday is Sunday. Thursday is Friday. Sunday is Monday. In the middle. Okay, so you have to bear in mind that the weekend isn't Saturday and Sunday. So if you are going to Petra on Friday or Saturday or even Thursday afternoon, it's going to be very busy. It's going to be full of tourists. So I try and go on either Sunday, Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Three. The desert is cold at night and hot in the day. So you have to be prepared for all weathers. And when I mean cold, I mean really, really cold. Like you're gonna need a woolly hat and a scarf and some gloves and a blanket. But then in the day, you're gonna need some sun cream, a sun hat, some sunglasses. So you need to come prepared, which is something I definitely didn't do. You will hear, donkey, donkey, come on, come on, one, million times when you are in Petra. You want camel? Ah, that's good for you. Okay, because the people there are going to try and get you to go on a camel ride, to go on a donkey ride, to go on a horse ride, a go ride, a sheep ride, whatever kind of ride that they can make money from. Personally, I don't agree with it. The animals are not treated well, they do not look healthy. Plus, I'm kind of scared of riding camels and goats and anything with four legs. I <laughs> am really scared of riding horses and donkeys and cattle. <laughs> but just be prepared that you're going to be shouted at quite a lot about donkeys and cattle. They're going to charge you 10, 10 JD to get from A to B, wherever A to B may be. Um, you know, your prerogative if you really want to ride on a starving camel that's in quite bad condition, then uh, yeah, you go for that. Five. Yes, it is worth hiking to the college team. Yeah. Is it hard? Yeah. How many steps? I don't know. 800, 900, 1000, whatever your tour guys tell you. But it's hard. It's a hard, it's just maybe an hour, but it is 100% worth it. So do not go to Petra without seeing the monastery, guys. It's pretty impressive. Number six. Bring suitable shoes. There is a bit of hiking, especially when you hike to the monastery. So just bring sturdy shoes, like I did it in Converse, which probably wasn't a very good idea. I wish I had like more hiking boots, something more substantial, but just bring them. Six, seven, seven. Should I stay in a Bedouin tent overnight? Yes, like 100% yes. There really should not be a question there. I stayed in one of these tents last night. It was actually surprisingly really comfortable. I had a great night's sleep. Stay in a bedroom tent, drink the tea, smoke the shisha. It's freezing, but it's so much fun. But eight, border crossings. Oh. Going from Israel to Jordan and Jordan to Israel is going to take you a few hours. They're going to ask you some questions, but it has to be done. Number nine, 
The best time to go to a pet dry is either early, early morning, 5 a.m. or about 4 p.m. when the lights are low. Do not go at peak time, which is probably 10, 11, 12. There is a lot of tourists. And number 10, last tip before you go to Petra, make sure all of your cameras and phones and any electric equipment is charged because you get there and you can't get that epic photo and there's no evidence that there's no photo you never did it. Guys, Petra is absolutely awesome, you're gonna love it. Make sure you let me know when you do, share the photos down here and don't forget to subscribe as always to the channel for loads more videos in the Middle East and lots more pictures. <laughs>